Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Plant-Based Kidney Health. Michelle Krosmer and Dr. Sean Hashmi here. And the question for today, Dr. Hashmi, is what is the relationship between uric acid levels, gout, and kidney disease? Great question. So, you know, if you'd asked the same question when I was back in fellowship, which was, gosh, um, about 15 years or so ago, I would have given you a slightly different answer, but we do have more research, so we'll talk about that. So essentially what happens in kidney disease is you're unable to get rid of uric acid as well as you did when you don't have kidney disease. Uric acid, of course, is linked to gout. Classic example of gout is that painful hot toe, the big toe. It gets really, really painful, really, really hot. It's like on fire. And it's really hard to miss when people do have a gout episode going on. So the real question is, is does uric acid then, because it's not being clear to the kidney, build up inside the kidney and lead to further kidney damage, meaning is CKD progression due to buildup of uric acid? And the answer is, is we don't think so. So in the past, there was this idea of uric acid nephropathy going on, the idea that over time, uric acid would deposit inside the kidneys, cause inflammation and scarring. Nowadays, it's thought to be more of a correlation going on. And the reason this matters so much is if you have uric acid, you still want to correct it. If you're a history of gout, you want to correct it. But in terms of kidney disease, if anything, kidney disease will more make it more likely for you to suffer from gout than if you didn't have kidney disease. But not necessarily gout causing kidney disease or gout making the kidney disease worse. Now, uric acid, as you know, is involved in a type of stone, a uric acid stone. So if you have more uric acid that's getting sort of unable to go through the kidney, getting stuck inside it, you will develop more uric acid stones going on. So bottom line, when you think about gout is it's really because of two things. It's either too much uric acid going into the body or because cells are breaking apart in acute crush injuries, tumor lysis going on, or it's because you can't get rid of the uric acid, which is as seen in kidney disease. No matter which one of these scenarios it is, we still recommend using dietary and lifestyle modifications to lower your uric acid. So that does mean cutting back on alcohol, cutting back on organ meats, bacon, shellfish going on, uh, sugar sweetened beverages, high fructose type of stuff, especially high fructose corn syrup, but even fruit juices. We always recommend eat the fruit instead of the fruit juice going on. So if you can make those changes, aim for a better, healthier weight, they will lower your risk of developing gout. But if you have gout, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to cause your kidney disease to get worse. All right, guys. All thanks right. so much. We will see you next time. Thanks, guys.